Hello Hacktubers and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my latest DIY project which is portable digital adjustable power supply yes and using this power drill battery that give 20 volts and it's park side I will make uh, adjustable and portable digital power supply unit let's start as you can see everything is here just need to be connected all together and assembled but the main part was to 3d print uh, attachment for the battery and the pain in the b was adding these positive and negative terminals right here and you can see on the picture that I made them out of ordinary metal plate and fix it with a super glue all files for 3d printing these things will be in description below don't forget and just to demonstrate voila working like a charm this is an attachment that I will get on these two wires positive and negative 20 volts and from here we are going to the main case which is also 3d printed files in description below I have already placed a main power switch a fuse this is the main case and this is the front panel which have two banana plugs for output adjustable voltage black negative red positive and also I have placed a XT60 connector and I think but I'm not sure do I want here to have adjustable voltage or direct voltage from the battery 20 volts I will decide that and here it is the main unit adjustable di digital power supply that works from 0 to 30 volts adjustable and can give 4 amperes out out in in input is from 5 to 30 volts and the output is from 0 0.5 volts to 30 volts I'll put a link in description that you can get it from Aliexpress and let's start assembling the first thing is to place on the front panel and it fits perfectly look wow all right before assembling just to explain the wiring here it is the battery attachment that from from that is giving positive and negative wire positive go to the fuse from here to the main switch 0 1 and from here go to the module adjustable module power supply that will be positive in the ground from the attachment go directly to in negative or ground of the module and we have output ground on the banana plugs and positive out on positive banana plugs that's it on 3d printed case I have already made uh, holes for the screws and for the wires that will fit perfectly positive negative perfect now I'm gonna tight the screws and the first step is finish it. Soldering the positive wire from the battery that will go directly on the fuse and from here to the main switch. Okay.
can you see it the positive wire from the battery go to the fuse through this short wire going to the main switch and from the main switch we have the positive wire that will go on the module and the ground or negative will go directly to the module where it says in input voltage input on these two terminals and from other two terminals positive and negative will go directly on the banana plugs for the XT60 connector I'm gonna decide later maybe a little bit later two short wires positive and negative that will go from the banana plugs to the output connectors of the module believe it or not the last thing before closing the case is to connect the positive and negative wires that are coming from the battery pack to input of this module positive go here okay tight negative So we have voltage input, voltage output on the banana plugs, and it's ready. The XT connector, I'm gonna do it later maybe. Okay. Perfect. Wow. What a device. And looking good. Or the 3D printed case. Main switch, fuse, the attachment for the power drill. And it's time for testing. This will be a very useful and practical power supply because it will be a portable and using a drill battery like this one, which is Parkside 20 volts. Perfect. Oh. Power on in three, two, one. All right. Maybe you can you can see but good at this angle, but it's for working fine. The LCD screen. Twelve point twenty two volts. Oh on off on let's measure and test something let's check the output 12.2 volts 12.2 volts you can adjust to maximum how much 18 19 20 volts output that is great and you can set also the current and the voltage you can choose whatever decimal you want to work and the um, minimum voltage is 0.5 volts on the multimeter it says 0.49 awesome and good 
Okay, let's test it to 5.2 volts. 5.2 volts. Turning off. No, I need to first to go here, here. Okay. Amper hours, ampers. Power off. The voltage output is off. When you press it, the voltage output is on. And we have a constant current indicator LED right here. Okay, let's hook up a bulb. Also, you can check the battery on this indicator. Okay. Negative. Positive. Okay, we're gonna set the voltage to 12 volts. Okay. Nothing happens. Why? Because the LED indicator constant current is on and right now the bulb need more current. It's set to 300 milliampers. But we're gonna change that. One amp. Nothing happens still. Two amp and turning off and something happened turning on nothing happens this bulb is pulling too much current above 4 amps maybe 5 and that's why the fuse blew up I need to change it Wattage bulb. No, I'm gonna try it again. I set to 3.5 amperes, I think. Turning on. Alright, it's giving 6 volts at 2.5 amperes, is pulling. Let's increase a little bit. Alright, now we have 12 volts and it's pulling 2. Point, no, we have 7.7 .7 volts and 2.8 amperes. Ooh. Let's increase again. 3 amperes. 3.2 amperes. And the voltage is 9.3 volts. Ooh, working great! Turning off, turning on, I like it. And what is great about this digital adjustable power supply? You can take it everywhere. It's portable. And you can recharge the battery and use it again. Look. So nice. I like it. And probably this will be one of my favorites DIY projects. Take a look how it turn out very good this will be a useful thing all right i hope you like today diy project please give a like share and subscribe to my channel see ya 
good stuff. 